as the model gets more and more complicated um, and more kind of fitted and calibrated to the training data, the bigger the gap's going to be between the performance of your outer sample, what's called the test sample data here, and mm -hmm. your training sample. That gap's getting wider and wider and wider as the model gets more complex. That mean, and at some point, you can see that gray line actually starts, stops going down and instead starts going up. Um, and from that point onwards, you are adding complexity to the model that will reduce your out sample performance. You will actually yeah. lose money when you're trading. So what people are really doing when they're um, having this problem that you described at the top of the show is they're looking at the red line, they're fitting their model, they're making the red line look as good as possible, and the way of making it as good as possible is, is <laughs> to make the model more complex uh, and to do a few of the tricks that we'll talk about this evening. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to trading real data, real money, you know, they they're, they suddenly jump up onto the grey line, and the more complex their model is, the more of a shock they're going to have when you know when they're jumping from a nice low prediction error up to the grey line, a really complex model. Um, to a, a model that's in trading system return space is, is you know, going to be very unprofitable.